artificial general intelligence. It's seen as the holy grail of technology and computing. Some call it folklore, others call it an impending reality. Literally billions have been invested to try to achieve it. And if realized, AGI can usher forth unprecedented change, fundamentally reshaping how we interact with tech and one another. Today, we're looking at OpenAI, the creators of DALI and ChatGPT, and what they've put forth as their roadmap for achieving AGI. Welcome to Chaos Theory, a space where we find the signal and noise in all that's happening in AI. I'm Alex, your resident chaos coordinator. And if you want to learn more about topics like this, be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now let's begin. McKinsey defines artificial general intelligence as AI that is as capable of learning intellectual tasks as humans are. Academics and practitioners are split on the timeline for when such technology will arrive. However, most agree that the impressive capabilities that we've seen in just the last few months alone from generative AI, like Stable Diffusion and ChatGPT, signal that we're entering a brave new world of artificial intelligence. And one of the companies at the forefront of spearheading this is OpenAI. What do you think sets OpenAI apart from other AI research organizations? I think we have a, maybe a unique or at least a rare combination of we are, we are good at research, engineering, and the sort of safety policy planning thing that think tanks usually do. And we have all of those in one small organization that on a per headcount basis is extremely well resourced and extremely focused. So we're willing to concentrate a lot of resources into a small number of bets. Um, and bring these sort of three different pieces together to do that. OpenAI was originally founded in 2015 by Sam Altman and Elon Musk as a nonprofit research lab. With an initial $1 billion in funding, OpenAI's initial vision was to conduct research openly and share their work and patents with collaborators around the world. Musk even said that its core aim was to create open source AI tech so that Google and other tech giants didn't have a monopoly over it. In the beginning, OpenAI's research was bent towards reinforcement learning and was marked by achievements like defeating human players in 5v5 competitive Dota and building robots that could solve a Rubik's Cube with one hand. While certainly interesting and important results in their own right, they lacked the gravity that made people think that AGI was coming soon. However, all that changed with GPT-2. Announced in February 2019, GPT-2 was a successor to the first generative pre-trained transformer language model. This model in particular was so capable at generating believable text, OpenAI publicly cautioned that it was too dangerous to release. However, they soon changed course and not only open sourced GPT-2, but also became more comfortable releasing even more powerful language models like the infamous ChatGPT. And not just in natural language, but OpenAI has caught the public's attention with their image generation model, DALI. Seen as a precursor to the open source stable diffusion, Dolly showed the world that you could generate impressive looking images with just a single prompt of text. We see from a bird's eye view, all of these machine learning models and the features they offer are approaching what many consider signs of true intelligence. Knowing this, OpenAI wrote a charter detailing how they view their efforts going forward. Why does OpenAI even want to build AGI in the first place? In their own words, AGI has the potential to give everyone incredible new capabilities we can imagine a world where all of us have access to help with almost any cognitive task, providing a great force multiplier for human ingenuity and creativity. How they achieve this can be broadly summarized in three main points. Number one, get AI into the hands of as many people as possible. Number two, create increasingly aligned models like Instruct GPT and Chat GPT that better match human preferences and are more controllable. Number three, start a global conversation about governing AI systems, distribute their benefits fairly, and ensure equitable access. However, realizing that AGI would require significantly more human capital and compute resources, OpenAI shifted from a non-profit to a capped profit structure. This effectively allowed it to raise funding from external partners and build products for financial gain. Their most recent tie-in with Microsoft has Microsoft becoming the preferred partner for commercializing their AI tech. Longer term, OpenAI sees the development of AGI as the first step towards superintelligence. The key will be how the once nonprofit can prevent misalignment and misuse, especially in the light of competing financial interests. So is AGI achievable? And is OpenAI on the right path to reaching it? Or are they just cracking open Pandora's box and will be caught off guard by the consequences of their actions? One thing's for sure, the next few years will be one for the history books. Hey, thanks for watching until the end. It means a lot to me. 
If you like this, please subscribe and leave a comment for what you'd like to see next. Until next time, to embracing the chaos together.